This is a tutorial to show how to use Excel to construct a calibration curve to use Linus and determine the 95% confidence level and then applying the corresponding error bars in the uh, graph that's generated. This data, in this particular example, we have an absorbance data in which the different amount of proteins are determined. The data shows <coughs> the absorbance of three tr trials with samples ranging from 0 to 25 microliters. So in the first um, part of this particular tutorial we are going to do the corrected absorbance. In order to do the corrected absorbance we're going to have to take the absorbance reading and subtract the 0 or the blank sample. In this particular case we're going to take these independent readings, take the average of it and then use this average to correct for all the other absorbance reading. Now in order to have Excel um, choose this reading right here we're going to put a dollar sign so that the cell doesn't move when we apply the automated calculation so I'm going to calculate the rest of these then I'm also going to if you notice the equation over here this corrected absorbent is for this absorbent minus this correction and this corrected absorbance is for this absorbance minus this correction and so on and so forth so we're just going to apply this whole array for the uh, for all these calculations oops I forgot a point over here this was point 392 I need to include that as well so let me go ahead and finish calculating these Then I'm going to take the um, average of these absorbents I'm going to change the number of significant figures for these numbers right here by using this and also apply it to the average now I'm going to take the um, I'm going to plot the data by highlighting this and then pressing on the command button and highlighting that and I'm going to click on the scattered you can see that that is what the graph looks like. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And this is my XY plot. It's my calibration curve. I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to change the uh, color of the points. And then I'm going to um, add a trend line. going to be a linear equation and I'm going to show the equation and the correlation factor and this is the equation for the line I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of that font that's the equation of the line now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a linear regression with this by using Linus. Linus allows you to do a linear regression and it also calculates the standard deviation for the slope as well as the standard deviation for the um, y-intercept. You need to figure out what data points you're going to be using. I'm just going to make this zero. 
and um, type in the equation I'm going to click on this cell because this is where my output is going to be I'm going to hit equals Linus if I don't know that equation um, function I could just look it up here and then the program will um, prompt me for some of the uh, data the data is going to be first I do my y values there should be a parenthesis here followed by a comma the x values the x values are these true true It doesn't show the whole output here, uh, so what you need to do is you need to highlight all these cells, this 2x3 cell, go back to the uh, formula bar, and then press command and hit return again. And that right there is how to use Linus to generate the... Um, parameters for the uh, linear regression. You can see that the slope 0 0.0158 is the same as the one that we did when we added a trend line. The intercept is 0 0.00815 and that's certainly close to this right here. If I want to change the number of significant figures in my equation on my graph, I just double, just double click here and then if I do, go to numbers I can change that to scientific notation indicate the number of significant figures and there is the um, equation with more significant figures uh, let me just change the background and change that pill color yellow and there it is the next step is to add error bars in the um, linear equations shown. Let's take the average of these and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Insert a column here and then I'm just going to take the average of these three right here. And these numbers should, so this is the mean, and I'll call it mean 2. In this particular example, we're going to do a student T, and the student T will be on the 95% confidence level. So we're going to figure out what that T value is by uh, having Excel calculated for us. So this will be T INV is the function and it's going to be for the 95% um, with uh, 2 degrees of freedom. So this is going to be equal to T INV 1 minus 0.95 comma 2 and that's the t value that we're going to be using. The other thing we want to do for this particular part is figure out the standard deviation. Remember that we're taking the average of these three independent absorbents, so the, we're going to have a standard deviation for each one of these. So that's just equal to... And we're just going to highlight these right here. And that's going to be right here. Now, our um, confidence interval, our 95% confidence interval, is going to be equal to the uh, T times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the uh, number of samples for each one. And since 
each one of these have three uh, trials one two three we're going to divide it by the square root of three so that's going to be the equation for this column right here so I'm just going to say equals the t value times the standard deviation divided by the square root of 3. Now I also want to make this value right here fixed so I'm going to put a dollar sign right here and then I'm going to do a propagation of calculations so that's going to be the 95% um, um, confidence interval based on this mean. Now we're going to generate the error bar for our graph. And we can do that by double clicking on this right here, one of the data points, and then going to the Y error bar and right here under custom we're going to indicate that it's going to be the 95% confidence interval plus and minus and here it is this is the um, equation that shows the error bar uh, for our measurements. Notice that there's a huge error bar because of this value right here. If we delete that you can see that the error bar goes is smaller. We also mess change the average but let me just put that back and that completes our tutorial.